just imagine <laughs> any kid who's so weirded out by flying saucers, evil death rays, and alien invasions who actually believe they're coming to destroy all of kidkind right this very moment. Well, it happened to a fifth grader who lives down the street just past old man Crenshaw's who owns the three-legged dog. But that's another story. The neighborhood called him strange. His parents called him Raymond Floyd Flutterman. But we at school all called him Paranoid Floyd. Every morning was the same for Floyd, like clockwork. He'd run out of the house screaming. Aliens! Aliens! Ah! Oh, there's a mummy shop! Alien invasion! This obviously affected no one since it happened every day. Even with a 14 point spread, they got no defense. Ah! Can't believe they traded Samuels. Warning! Red alert! Red alert! <laughs> hey, Fred! Isn't that your kid screaming and yelling at the spaceships again? <laughs> no. Perhaps I should make some tea and vanilla snaps for the Martians, you miss. Oh, and I'll sweep the garage to bug their spaceship. <laughs> to our unsuspecting little planet in a galaxy way, way far out there. Now, with the dawn of the revolution, soon after the Declaration of Independence was signed in 1775, colonists in Massachusetts began to hide military supplies in the town of Concord. The British found out and decided to destroy them, but the people in Boston discovered the British plan. They sent a famous silver smith by the name of Paul once again. It behooves me to say that I look forward to our little chats, since you do represent the future of our world and are so naive to life's uncertainties. I must admit, your colorful delusions do inspire me. Ah, the innocence of children. However, it is mandatory that I communicate to you how important it is for this institution to function on a respected, unwavered, timely schedule. Allow me to express myself in a more blunt fashion. You leave me no choice but to eliminate you and put an end to this nonsense. However, the bittersweet irony of this sordid episode might be amusing to you as it is to me. My delectable little 
one way to overcome your fears. The moral here, well, like, I guess there really isn't one. But as for Paranoid Floyd, he decided to take his teacher's advice and spend more time hitting the school books. Now, if he can only shake that paranoia thing. The red coats are coming! The red coats are coming! Yes! Have an interesting life.